Today I am talking about Chen Chun Mu. Um, he's an artist uh, from China, mainland China, from the south, uh, the Fujian province. Um, I think he's my favourite artist in the collection uh, for a number of reasons. He's rather naughty um, in a very subtle way and people are quite attracted to his works because they're visually stunning um, and then when they come up close they kind of get a hint of um, some of the naughty parts uh, in there. He's quite young, he's born in 1981 and actually where he comes from is really important to the work because he says um, down in the south it's a really soft and misty landscape and that really informs um, his, his paintings um, and his watercolours um, in their colour, um, in their form, um, in a whole range of things. They're nice and soft and lush as well. Um, the brushwork also is highly skilled, very technical, very beautiful, um, very traditional as well. Uh, there's a lot of techniques going on in the works, um, from dry brush application um, through to the application of the acrylic. Um, I think he is a master at what he does. What I personally really like about the paintings and the watercolours is at what first appears to be uh, moods or forms, human forms, then also become animal-like or bird-like. Uh, what appear to be limbs, uh, human limbs, um, become tree branches. Um, those tree branches then have flowers off them and then those flowers um, become quite animal-like again. Um, what appears to be, um, in some cases, a landscape, a row of mountains, is actually a row of breasts. Um, it could be the sky, it could be the ocean, um, it could be anything. Um, they're really ambiguous. Um, and for me, that uh, ambiguity means that it's kind of everything that makes the world. Um, and they're not one thing, they're everything. Um, you can get lost in them. Um, there's always more to it.